Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, and I'm here to bring you another G.I. Joe review. But this time it's not a vintage toy review, but a review of a book about G.I. Joes. This time this is a book uh, made by Mark Belomo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, and it's the, the ultimate guide to G.I. Joe. Now, you might recognize his name because he's made something called the Ultimate Guide to Transformers, which is virtually the Bible uh, to some vintage G1 collectors. Now, the more reviews that I'm doing, uh, the more comments and questions within those comments I get uh, asking me about um, reference material and things like that. And I thought, you know what, even though I'm knowledgeable and I, quite frankly, I do like answering those questions, uh, something like this would probably be a lot, a lot better for you because my knowledge only extends from 1982 to 1985 and um, not only with the toys but also with the comics as well. And this actually covers quite a bit, quite a bit, of, of, quite a bit more. It goes from 1982 to 1994 and not only that but there are notations from uh, Mr. Larry Hama who did the comic book from Marvel Comics from 1982 to 1983 or 1984 or whatever it was cancelled the whole almost the whole 155 issue run so uh, this would probably be a much better uh, reference uh, for anything past 1985 uh, as you can see uh, I've made a, made a few notations on um, Mr. Bolomo's work uh, if you've seen um, the movie from Flophouse Films, which I believe is on YouTube, uh, called Collect Collectible Spectacle, uh, it shows just how much um, blood, sweat, and tears that he's put into making this reference book. So, uh, you might think of him as only a Transformer um, collector and reviewer and, and uh, guide maker, but... Um, He's put a lot of effort into making this thing, and uh, these old notes—they're—they're no—they're not really any anything to be worried about. This is a good. This is a good book. I give it like a ten out of ten, basically, because uh, uh, now one knock against it that uh, I have to point out, and that's uh, that's actually in um, in comparison to his Transformer uh, guide. And, and one of the things is that, uh, taking a look at this thing, all you see are the figures and the accessories. Now, in the Transformer guide, he also has the uh, tech specs. Here, these figures come with almost every figure, except for one, uh, within, within the 1982-1984, come with file cards or command file card dossiers or whatever you want to call them. Um, those have not been reprinted here and um, in, in a lot of cases there is some reference to those uh, cards but uh, not to the extent of um, a full you know reproduction of the Now, I'm trying not to be harsh because um, I know how difficult it is to make something uh, of this size and, and of this completeness. Uh, and if and after watching um, uh, Collectible Spectacle, uh, I certainly uh, 
certainly don't envy uh, the work that he's uh, put into it. Uh, that being said, it's um, it's uh, there are, there are a few uh, minor minor issues that I, uh, hopefully I'll point out uh, in still images. Uh, it's missing the file cards, and well, I, I don't particularly agree with putting values in there because values change and that, that makes this reference book age uh, very quickly. Uh, that's something that should be in a monthly publication. And uh, obviously, um, it, it's, it's a tiny bit expensive. You get what you pay for, but uh, you know, if, if you're only interested in a couple of different years or if you're only interested in um, uh, you know, the special sub-teams or something like that, and, uh, you know, that's... Uh, it, it's like kind of a waste of money, but um, I mean, if you're if you're interested in GI Joe's in general, then yeah, obviously it's a good read, and it was a good read for me. So, thank you for watching this review. This is an excellent book. I do recommend it, and I'll see you next time with a GI Joe toy review.